Hey everybody, this is Blockus, and today I have another storage system to show you. Except this time, it's a lot more practical to set up. See, I realize that I've been too hung up on moving chests with pistons and minecarts, but this way is much faster and much easier to set up, and it doesn't involve losing a ton of chests in the process of building it. And it is in fact something that I plan to build as soon as I start playing survival, which is happening very soon. There's gonna be a whole announcement thing and you'll be hooked, trust me, but I'll tell you more about that later. So if I click any button right here, then go look inside this chest, I'll find exactly one stack of the item I requested. It arrived here pretty fast because I'm running the system with a 28 fan array. And I'll show you that in a minute, but if I go back here and keep clicking, maybe even request a few stacks of each item, it doesn't matter how fast I click, all of these items are getting delivered right away. So then I can go back to my chest and pick up everything that I requested. I figured something like this would make more sense than having a huge system that brings you chests or groups of chests and you can click what you need and find it in this one place. But if you haven't seen my other storage systems, I recommend that you go check them out after this video because I do things very differently and you may be able to use those designs in different circumstances. And to make this system complete, I knew I had to add some form of item sorting so that I don't actually have to keep putting things in individual chests. I can just place any items I have on me in the second chest right here, and they'll get sorted back into the correct chests and anything that doesn't fit will end up in a separate trash container. And now that you've seen what this contraption does, it's time for me to show you a few cool things that happen behind the scenes. But before we jump into that, I want to say that I'm very happy to have hit 300 subscribers a couple of days ago. Thank you all for watching and supporting me and I look forward to making many more videos for you to enjoy. Now let's start with the engine. And this time I didn't use a creative motor because I figured enough is enough and I decided to build something that I can use over and over. So I went ahead and used an array of fans connected to a rotation speed controller, which is an awesome block that gives me a nice engine that's really cheap and can deliver high speeds and power. It's also very easily expandable since you can simply add another campfire and a fan and then break your conveyor belt to connect it to the new fan. And once you power the new fan, you've added more power to the engine. And I feel like I said new fan too many times, but I hope you get my point. And in case you like this engine and want to use it in your world, I saved it separately as a create mod schematic and saved it in the description so you can download it and do whatever you want with it. The main part of this system is very simple. I have a pulse repeater and a regular repeater pointing into a block with a torch on it. Whenever the button on the front is pressed, the torch will pulse off and release a stack of the requested item. You can adjust the number of the funnel to get less of the item you want, and you can increase the pulse length on this side to get more of the item. This is very similar to the item shop I showed you before, but it has no conditions and will simply deliver the item once it's requested. And once that happens, the item then gets dropped on the conveyor belt and then they'll go through this funnel, into this chest, and then out onto this conveyor belt, which will go up into this funnel and finally deliver our items into the chest at the front. And finally, once I finished setting this up, I knew that I had to add some form of sorting system so that I don't have to keep loading each chest with items. CreateMod makes item sorting super easy. Everything will just run over a series of filtered funnels leading into our chests. And as you can see, these can be set to work for any different item by putting the item here in the funnel filter, and that's all you need to do to configure the system. And I added a trash chest here at the end, but you can obviously do whatever you want with any leftover items. And this is all there is to this new storage system. But before I let you go, I wanted to remind you that I'm always open to new suggestions and ideas for things to build. Even if you think the idea is crazy, I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching this far into the video, and I hope to see you next time.